This week on GTD Weekly. The War Z gets gameplay footage, Borderlands 2 scores good reviews, the doctors leave Bioware, a new PlayStation 3 is on the way, modders bring Morrowind to Skyrim, Torchlight 2 is another delightful dungeon crawler, Left 4 Dead 2 is getting Steam Workshop integration, and more. Look closely or you may think you are watching DayZ footage, but this is another open world zombie survival game. Following in the footsteps of the successful Arma 2 mod, the War Z takes the same slow paced approach to surviving the undead apocalypse, and it already looks to have a decent level of polish. The War Z is currently in alpha, with a release slated for this fall. Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. The original Borderlands was a surprise hit for Gearbox Software. The game captured a sizable fan base, and many had high hopes for the sequel. Borderlands 2 is now out, and has already largely been a critical and commercial success. If more Borderlands style shooting and looting sounds good to you, it seems like Borderlands 2 has that and a bit more. BioWare has been going through a transition period over the past couple years. The studio and brand have become a bigger entity, with even games like Command & Conquer getting the BioWare label. Even more changes are afoot, with the studio's original founders, Drs. Ray Musica and Greg Zuschuk, announcing that they are retiring from the company and game development altogether. Whether this is a result of the lackluster reception of Star Wars The Old Republic, or simply the natural course of things for the Doctors is unknown but Bioware is feeling more and more like a shell of its former self. The Tokyo Game Show took place this week, and Sony commanded most of the headlines, not the least of which was a new revision of the PS3 hardware. The latest model is even slimmer than the previous slim model, and ditches the traditional slot-loading Blu-ray drive for a manual top or side-loading system. The new models are not coming in at cheaper prices either, with the cheapest bundled version starting at $269, but they do pack larger hard drives. Modders are among the most passionate game creators around, and if the recent release of Black Mesa isn't enough to prove it, there is another huge fan project in the works. Coming from the team behind More Oblivion, the aim of the new mod, Skywind, is the same. Bring the world of Morrowind into Bethesda's latest and greatest game engine. Work is early, but the team hopes to include all major elements, including NPCs and quests, in the final version that is targeted for an early to mid-2013 release. An Oblivion version is also planned. Borderlands 2 wasn't the only big sequel to hit this week. Torchlight 2 also hit virtual shelves, and has received almost nothing but universal praise. Even in the shadow of Diablo 3, Runic Games have made a light-hearted dungeon crawler that seems to succeed in ways that even Blizzard's ultra-polished offering could not. And did we mention it's only $20? Last time I saw my grandmother, she asked me was I still a praying man. Steam Workshop has been making its way into new and older titles alike. The latest titles to get Steam Workshop support are The Killing Floor and Red Orchestra 2. And now Valve has announced that support is coming to Left 4 Dead 2 as well. No timeline was given for the Workshop enabled version, but when it does come, it will support a whole range of mutations and user created mods. And now, random video awesomeness from the week. Check out a fully functional portal turret made by Weta Workshop.
that's GTD Weekly for this week. Make sure to check the description area for links to our Twitter, the full stories, and our partners. If you like the show, please subscribe, like the episode, and spread the word. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back again next Saturday.